Hi, everybody. I hope you're all helping your Emas and Abbas get ready for Shabbat. It's coming soon. Anyways, today I wanted to read you a story about Shabbat. And this story is dedicated to my very new grandchild, Shai Eitan, and his big brothers and sister, Raphael, Hadar, and Sur. Anyways, here we go. The name of the story is Peanut Butter and Jelly for Shabbat by Dina Rosenfeld. <clears throat> Yossi opened his eyes one cold winter day, then said Moda Ani and washed right away. Hmm, this Friday is special, thought Yossi, because... Huh, there's a reason, but he forgot what it was. <clears throat> Then Abba walked in and said, Hey, sleepy heads. It's time to get up. Get out of your beds. Your mother's been gone for three days and we've missed her. But today she's coming home with her new baby sister. I'll pick up your safta. She'll help us too. Since Shabbat's coming early, there's so much to do. So please stay with your saba. I'll be back soon. Please polish your shoes and clean up your room. <clears throat> So the boys gave tzedakah, they davened, they ate, they wiped off the table and each washed his plate. They cleaned up their room, they gave their shoes a good sign, and for Ima they colored a welcome home sign. Hey, label, said Yossi, what's taking so long? When are they coming? I hope nothing's wrong. <gasps> Look outside, pointed label, the cars are so slow. The road must be icy. It's starting to snow. Label and Yossi could hear the wind blow as their yard disappeared under layers of snow. With cold nose pressed to the glass, they sat there watching the snowflakes whiz, whiz past. Their eyes opened wide, they smiled in delight, and their breath made all the windows frosty and white. Let's go out, Label said. It's sticking just right. And I'm in the mood for a big snowball fight. Yossi smiled and followed with a sh then frowned and shook his head. But Label, we have work to do here instead. It seems everybody is coming home late. Who's going to make food for Shabbat? We simply can't wait. We're in trouble, said Label, if we touch a knife. And we never made Shabbat before in our lives. If we turn on the oven, I know we'll regret it. Cooking's too hard, I say, let's forget it. We can't give up now, was his brother's reply. We'll only succeed if we're willing to try. This is Label and this is Yossi. <clears throat> they sat for a moment, they sat there for two, until Yossi came up with one thing that he could do. Well, I can't cook the filthy fish, that may be true. But I always make tuna. That's a fish, too. I can't touch a knife, Label said. That I know. But I can use a peeler for cucumbers, though. So the two boys washing up with soap in the sink and both started working before you could blink. Soup's a problem, said Yossi. So this afternoon, I'll prepare something else we can eat with a spoon. He took down the bowls with a fancy gold rim and he filled them with applesauce up to the brim. Now for the main course, here's what I suggest, called label to Yossi, the food I love best. It's better than chicken or turkey or meat, peanut butter and jelly, so sticky and sweet. I'll spread on some crackers, a great Shabbat treat. Let's make a bunch for everyone to eat. Soon the meal was ready, but Yossi cried, label, we don't have halot on our table. Don't worry, said Label to Yossi. Don't cry. We'll only succeed if we're willing to try. Waving two frozen bagels over his head, Label grinned. Don't you see? We'll use bagels instead. Now for Shabbat, sh now for Shabbat dessert, Yossi said. There's no cake. Isn't there anything else we could make? Oh, we don't need it, said Label. We made so much stuff. Just look at this table. I think there's enough. Wait a minute, said Yossi. Won't this do the trick? And he pulled from his pocket a red candy stick. 
He broke it in pieces, which he put on a plate, and Label said, Yo, see, that candy looks great. Sometimes you're really a pretty smart guy, but we'll only succeed if we're willing to try. Just then came a knock and a key in the lock, and in walked the family. Oh, what a shock. Safta's right hand held a covered dish that she filled with her homemade gefilte fish, and her left hand had platters of kugel and cake and fresh challah, just like Safta likes to make. Ava carried in matzah ball soup, piping hot, and roast chicken and meat in a huge steaming pot. And Ima carried a bundle in her arms too, their own baby sister, so tiny and new. Mazel tov, Ima said, for your new baby sister. Then Yossi and Label ran over to kiss her. We knew, the boy said, there'd be no time to cook, so we made all of Shabbat ourselves. Come take a look. It was fun, Label added, as easy as pie. We succeeded because we were willing to try. Then Abba took pictures of Yossi and Label standing right next to their own Shabbat table. They took lots of pictures here. The Shabbat table, we love Saba and Safta and baby sister and peanut butter and jelly and making silly sis silly faces for the baby. And they love to help. And they love they love their Ima. And their Ima loves them. That night they ate tuna and gefilte fish, then applesauce and soup for their second dish. Next came cucumbers, roast chicken, and meat with peanut butter and jelly, so sticky and sweet. For dessert, there was cake and red candy stick, too, which they finished right down to the very last lick. They looked at their baby and touched her soft skin. They patted her fingers and tickled her chin. Yossi said, she's the best baby I've ever seen. Pretty cute, said Label, for a girl, I mean. When she's bigger, we'll teach her, Yossi and I, that you'll only succeed if you're willing to try. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody, and Hadar, and Sur, and Rifaeli. I hope you are enjoying your new baby, your new baby brother. Bye-bye. Shabbat Shalom.